trust yourself enough to delegate. I know you think that, oh, if someone would just come and do all of these things for me, I would be able to achieve every one of my goals on my list. Nah, no. First, you have to be able to answer the question. Do you trust yourself enough to delegate? I'm Dr. Andrea Gigline. This is Andrea in the Raw. Just one of those thoughts that keep flitting through my mind because this week I've been called to write a lot about trust, trust and communication, what it will take not to be overwhelmed by all the tasks that a business owner needs in order to achieve and break it down. Well, what it takes first and foremost is trust. Trusting yourself that you will be able to identify those tasks that you are the best at and would get you to the goal faster and then discerning those tasks that someone else could do after you are specific about what the outcome is. Never delegate until you actually know the outcome, when you need it by, and if you wanna offer ways of you know getting it done, fine. But what you have to be satisfied with is that others may do things differently than you, that's another one of the trust things. Trust that the way you do things is not the only way it has to get done. But be very specific. A good outcome and a good completion to this task looks like this by this time period. So I will end where I started. Delegation is really, really important. None of us could get anything done if we try to do everything ourselves. Many people who have have failed miserably because they get depressed and hospitalized and you know they fall apart. Not the goal. So instead, I will end with that same opening question. Do you trust yourself to delegate? As always, subscribe, please. Leave comments. This is delegation and trust is, are really important issues. And I would love to be in conversation with you on these topics. Have a beautiful day and trust that you can delegate. I'm Dr. Andrea Gigline. Thank you.